Then I had to fix a gas line. It was giving me a service engine light. It would pass, so I had to fix that. Then, just before I went to Jamaica, my car uh, started, started sputtering as I was going up Mulberry Street, up the hill, and it just started weakening. Like, I was trying to lower the windows, and they would go down real slow. And I called up Chuck Steelman. Some of you guys may know Chuck Steelman. He's at the college, older guy, graduated, just working right now, paying off his school bills. And uh, he's a mechanic. He's just helping with a lot of little stuff. And I said, Chuck, the car's dying. It's barely making it up Mulberry Street. It's 3 o'clock, and there's lots of traffic. And he's like, oh, it doesn't sound like it's anything imminent. <laughs> And I found out once I turned up to Harrison Avenue, it would stop working, that this problem definitely was imminent. And so I ended up getting to work, getting to Jamaica, but I wasn't able to get a car. So 10 days later when I returned, my car is still on Harrison Avenue, except uh, that all the tires don't have air in them. And somebody had slashed my tires when I was gone. So I <laughs> so get new tires, and then found out that my alternator was done, and the battery was done, so we fixed the alternator and the battery. And then just this last week, my coolant system, my heating system just stopped working in the car. And that's just not, this is the, not the time of year you want to be without heat. <laughs> so <laughs> it's, been, it's been a couple cold rides uh, back and forth everywhere I have to go. And so I'm just hoping to get it fixed. But you need to let her die so you can marry someone else. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, but not, but not on the law. <laughs> So we'll see what happens. Maybe I can like put it on eBay and sell it like $3,000. <laughs> Someone will buy it, right? So we'll see what happens. But that's just what's going on in my life. God's just uh, challenging me to, to persevere through all of this. And, you know, I, I really appreciate Josh giving some encouragement today to get through. And, uh, but that's what's kind of going on. And so we're, we're making it through. But we also got another brother here, Demetrius. And some of you guys have enjoyed knowing him. I, I have too. And Demi he can make me laugh by just some of the practical things he says. I don't think he's trying to be funny. It's just funny because it's so straight up. And uh, sometimes we need to hear things like that. And he's a good brother of the truth, and he's going to come up here and share us uh, some things that are going on in his life. Hey, what up, what up, everybody? It's really, it's really cool to be uh, out here doing some comedy. I never thought I'd be doing comedy in a seminary because usually in a cemetery everybody's dying. <laughs> and they call it the cemetery. And uh, but nevertheless, you want to try to raise some life in here. Because I know these past days, months, you guys have been like struggling, you know what I'm saying? People have been walking, it's been like the walking dead in here. And one of the things I want to talk about was since I started going to the school, I realized it's not that many black people here, you know? <laughs> and, <laughs> and what I noticed was all the propaganda that was coming out from the school had me being like everywhere and doing everything. Like I was on the basketball team, I'm going to BBC, I'm even getting my demon, you know? <laughs> Look at this, I'm on the cover of the doctor ministry program here. And I even haven't completed my MDiv yet. I mean, it's not smart. And look at this professor here. He doesn't even teach him. He's in the military. I mean, he's a chaplain in the military. And you have him to cover the magazine. That's not even my own computer. I don't even own that computer. And the Greek, that, no, that Greek New Testament, that's like upside down. And what's even crazier is this, this other black guy. He's never been to school here. He's never been to school here. I'm serious. I mean, I wanted to direct me. I tried to call him up. And he, he said, Is there like a Chuck Larry here? And he said, No, there's no Chuck Larry here. And I was going, What's going on here? Is this like the artificial black guys on the cover of every magazine for every predominantly white Christian college in America? I think so, because I, I called up Cedar Bill's DM. It's in our magazine, too, you know? <laughs> you know? So that really cracked me up, you know? But. When you were here at BBC and BBS, you kind of deserve things. Remember, I, I'm a black guy that was in the military for a while, you know, and uh, I went to a secular college, so I have a different perspective on things. I don't have the Christian goggles, you know what I'm saying? I don't have the Christian vocabulary. I say things to get me in trouble here in school sometimes, because I kind of be honest, you know, because I, I really don't care, you know what I'm saying? So, one of the things I noticed was that I was watching the relationships 
here at BBC, how things happen. Remember, I'm 29, I'm not even married yet. And I know cats who are 20, 21, who are already married. And I asked them, how did you guys get married? He said, well, I saw her by the pond. I said, okay, all right. So what was she doing? Well, she was frolicking by the water. Oh, okay. And I took her a walk around the pond. Okay, so how many times did you walk around? Well, the, the custom here is you walk around once, you're going out. Okay, all right. You walk around twice, you're engaged. And you walk around three times, you're married. So really, that's, that's what it is? Yeah, yeah, you know. This is like in the Bible somewhere, you know. Um, well, you gotta go to the Old Testament. Remember when Rachel came home, Jacob kissed her, and they were married. And then, you know, the, the other stories and stuff like that. So that's what we do here at BBC. I said, okay, cool. So I figured I'll try this out with uh, Rachel Federhoff. So I took her around the pond once. We still didn't go out. I took her around twice. She wasn't even sure anymore. So I stopped right there. And I just simply asked her out to the banquet, you know, said. So that kind of worked out right there, you know. And uh, I got to talk about the professors, you know what I'm saying? So I know there's some professors here. You might get mad. I know you graded me. It's okay, but I'm paying your salary too, so it goes both ways, you know. <laughs> it's true, I, am I right? I'm paying $388 an hour, so I, I got some liberty here, you know, so. <laughs> so, you guys are working for me, really. <laughs> you know, because uh, one of the things I told the guys is, I said, guys, if you guys are really smart, you can go to Borders to get the same books and write your own paper, you know, so you don't have to go to a school to tell you about God, you know. But that's, that's too smart. But uh, one thing I noticed about one of the professors is, uh, so these professors are crazy, crazy sports fans. Two of them are here. You, you know, Dr. Austin and Dr. Grimbacki, you know, I mean, they're hardcore, you know, like super hardcore. I'm a Michigan fan, but he's on a whole different level, you know, like he is the Wolverine. And, and then, of course, you got Dr. Grimbacki, he's a, he's a Buckeye fan, Cowboy fan. Um, last week, Dr. Grimbacki gives me a call. He says, hey, uh, Demetrius, uh, Cal was playing the Packers. I said, hey man, I'm doing this paper for uh, Dr. Decker right now. Don't worry about it. I'll, I'll talk to Dr. Decker, write you a note, and you won't have to uh, turn that paper in on time, okay? Don't, don't worry about it. Talk to Dr. Decker, he's my boy. You know, I'm right next door to his office. Okay, all right, all right. So, I go down there, we're at Damon's. Um, don't worry, we're not in the bar section, we're on the TV side. We're on the TV side. And we sit down, we're relaxing, it's cool. Remember, this is PA, this is not Dallas Cowboy country, you know what I'm saying? And there's a couple of bracelets, we got 